Welcome back. Thanks for joining me today. As you can see, I'm already kind of already gotten started here. Um, kind of on a trying to get this done real quick. So to save a little bit of time, I wanted to at least get the one painting or canvas started. And while I'm flooding the other one, I will have a little chit chat with you guys. Um, so welcome. Thanks for joining me. For those of you who are new watching, uh, welcome. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. That way you are notified every time a new video pops up on YouTube by moi. I barely had enough on that one. Whew! I hope, uh, I hope that's good. So, um, it's, uh, what time is it? It's Tuesday the 10th and it's 7.30. And uh, I'm pretty pooched. It's been uh, pretty crazy, pretty busy with the renovations. Um, we have uh, my dad's up every day doing something. And we have, um, let's see, oh, I got caught here. We have uh, drywall going up. I'm so excited. They dropped off the drywall at like 7 a.m. this morning. Oh my gosh and uh they dropped it off it's all at, you know where it needs to be on each floor each level and uh they are going to start drywalling or sheetrocking whatever you guys call it um thursday so that's happening thursday along with hvac will also be here finishing off some uh duct work here in the basement and uh yeah so it's going to be pretty busy um, I just really started this video really quickly and never really had a thought <laughs> about what I was going to say or what I needed to say, um, other than I'm constantly <laughs> always tired. Um, if you saw my last video, um, which was the brown one, um, not obviously my favorite colors, um, but, uh, I was very shocked actually to see how many people loved brown. Uh, and the painting sold um, right away, like literally right away. Um, so for those of you who inquired about the painting um, and couldn't get your hands on it because it was already sold, I can make another one. If you are interested, just email me. Um, I guess I could use that to do the black. Um, but I wanted to show you real quick because I was really concerned about how um, the art mines was going to dry and if it was going to fractal or anything. Now the painting's not fully dry yet, but you can see um, it stayed put. It didn't go anywhere and everything looks amazing. So um, the art mines paint turned out to be pretty good. So if you head on over to Michael's and they still have some on clearance, run like that ikea commercial start the car so uh yeah go and get some because uh it turned out you know it's drying beautifully so i'm very happy with that so there's some great new colors that i'm gonna want to try in some future pours but tonight i am working on a commissioned piece i seriously need to get my act together here and uh get the show on the road and uh, work on some of these commissions for my clients and if you're watching i promise i'm working as fast as i can um my days are just crazy i'm helping my dad during the day oh, is that a mos there's a mosquito in here how does that even happen how is there a mosquito in here i'm not impressed Anywho, um, so yeah, during the day, it's uh, a little hard for me to do stuff between, you know, making sure my dad doesn't need my help or I'm trying to be as helpful as possible. He's working his butt off on my home, right? So I want to be as helpful as possible. So it doesn't leave much time for arting during the day, not to mention I have the dogs and got to make sure they get their walks and fed and whatever, whatnot. But um, what I'm working on, I think I'm going to, what I'm working on, if um, I did a video, video number, come here, Mr. Mosquito. Oh, I got him. <laughs> Rest in peace, little man. 
I got him. I actually got him. That's funny. Um, if you uh, watched video or if you haven't watched um, video number 245, I will link it up here at the top. Um, video number 245 was a triptych I had done, a black and white split with uh, blues and some purple and silver. And uh, that got snatched up pretty quickly. And so when my client got it, and she got it and put it up on her wall in her house. Um, it was a triptych of uh, 10 by 10 inch, no, 10 by 20 inch canvases. Um, and then when she put it over her couch, she loved it, but it looked too small for the space because she has a very, very big wall. So, oops. So um, she said, I need more. I said, okay. Um, so what I'm doing now is I'm going to add to her three 10 by 20 inch canvases. So these are 20 by 20. So she's got the three, one, two, three. And then I told her on each end, you can do another 10 by 20 each or change the canvas, you know, sizes and do 20 by 20s. And she said, nope, do 20 by 20s. So that is what I have here, two 20 by 20 inch canvases. And I am barely, barely, um, you know, got them on the table here. Just trying to see, yeah, lots going on there. Let's uh, add a bead here and I will fix that up later. I'm not gonna worry myself too much with that. Like so, I will fix that later. Let me do the white. So yeah, so she wants, uh, so that's why I'm doing a 20 by 20. And I took into consideration the um, composition of the other three pieces and how the um, design was on that because I'm trying my best to keep the design the same. So just the same way I did um, that triptych for Ben, if you guys remember. Ben had a 16 by 20 inch and then he had me do two more for him and then he sent actually his piece back so that I could resin them all. But um, let me move this out of the way and move that out of the way. So I managed to um, make them all match. So I'm hoping I managed to do that here as well. And uh, we will see how it turns out. So what I'm doing, let me move that out of the way. And I'm blocking the studio light here. So it kind of got a little dim on you guys there. But I just, for now, want to make sure the canvas is like wet with paint. I'm going to drip over the edge here and then I'll deal with the sides later. So I'm hoping I can manage to get this to match or as close as possible without having the other two pieces here to do so. So check out video number 245 and see how that one ended up. And then when we're done this one, you let me know if you think this one ended up. Where do I keep losing my paper towels? Jeez. Okay. Uh, now I'm just going to do the black real quick. I hate using my fingers with black. It gets under your nails and that stuff is not fun to take off. I guess it's better than alcohol ink. So I've been working on those Christmas ornaments. And uh, I smartened up and put gloves on this time, only to get a hole in the glove and get ink on my finger anyway. So, of course. But um, if you didn't see my ornaments, check out my last video. I did another 20 of them last night because Christmas is around the corner and there's no sense in making ornaments after Christmas time. Now is there? So I'm working on those. And when they are done, oh, there's my paper towel here in my pocket. And when I'm done those, I will show everybody the ornaments and then they will be available for purchase. And then you can email me or DM me or and all that fun stuff. Okay, so I'm going to pop the bubbles and then take this fluff out of here and here. And it's stuck to my finger. Okay. Let's pop these bubbles super quick. Now the 
side. Holy big Juno hair right there. See, I need to learn a lesson. I need to keep a spare shirt down here in the basement so that when I come down here, I'll just change into a clean shirt that doesn't have any dog hair on it. And I, oh, I keep saying I'm gonna do that and I keep forgetting to do that because this shirt is covered in doggy hair. Yes, it is. Edges here. All right. I feel like there's more bubbles here. Yes, there was. I missed a spot. Oh. Okay, let's move that, let's move that. Let's get to the colors. So tonight I am going to be using Iridescent Blue Green by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. Then we have Greenish Blue by Amsterdam. Then Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam. Then we have Sterling Silver by Deco Art. And then Metallic Cobalt Blue by Artist Loft. Those are tonight's colors. Oi. You know, I really like uh, putting them together. I'm going to just turn around the labels and showing them to you guys in the video. And it also makes for a great thumbnail for my video. So let me just show you guys without dropping anything what the colors look like together. So there you have it without the glare. So those are the colors from video 250, did I say 254? Now 245? Gosh, I can't remember now. So those, those are the colors. I'm gonna put them down here in the very little corner I have left of my table. I cannot wait till my new studio is ready because I'm going to have, this is a four by four foot table. I'm going to have an eight by eight foot table. I cannot wait to have more space, let me tell you guys. Um, okay, so let's start with the iridescent green blue. All right. Such a pretty color, one of my favorite colors. Okay, and as I'm done, I'm gonna put them away since I have no space to begin with. Greenish blue. All right, so I don't know where you guys live, but uh, we've had some crazy warm weather um, this whole week. It was back in the in the 20s. Today was 22, and it felt like summer. It was crazy. I'm not complaining. It was uh, it was awesome. It was so nice. All the windows were open. Um, you know, nice breeze, but. We go back to regular temperatures um, by the end of the week. But again, for almost mid-November, um, I am not complaining. All right, there we go. And last but not least, another one of my favorites, Metallic Cobalt Blue. All right. There we go. I am going to torch the bubbles real quick. I'm trying to see if there's a hair in there and I can't really tell if it's just bubbles. I had tweezers here. I was doing resin work earlier. I don't know where my tweezers are. Uh, anywho. Okay. Let's blow this out. I feel like I'm so confused or something. All right. So let's uh, hopefully not blow paint over the table. Let's blow this out. I'm going to start in the middle since it's basically going almost across. And let's see what happens.
one down. I love it. So I'm going to continue the same pattern starting here in the middle. I'm not going to uh, change the way I do that. So let's go. Uh, let's go this way. Uh, I feel like, no, let's go this way. I feel like my initial blow has to be this way in order for it to work. I'm, I just, I'm so happy with these colors. Like, uh, you can't go wrong with blue and purple. Like, I get so excited looking at this. Like, I did the brown piece, and when it was done, I was like, oh, that's pretty. It's not my thing. It's not my color. But the colors were still pretty, but I just don't like brown. But I look at this, and I'm like, eee, <laughs> it's so pretty. And wait till you see this. And this. Now remember, there's no matchy-matchy happening here because in between both of these canvases are three canvases. Um, so when these are dry and done and the client gets them and she puts them up on her wall and takes a picture, I will show you guys that picture because I'm dying to see what it's gonna look like with all of them. So that's uh, 20, 40, um, 70 inches across. Um, 70 by 20. Um, that's big. That's huge. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, I, I, I'm not touching any of this. I am going to take that hair out. I'm, I'm not touching it. I'm not torching it. I, there's, I love it. There's nothing I want to do here. I am going to pop this little air bubble though here, like so. Uh, nope. I don't think this needs anything, absolutely nothing. So I am going to touch up my sides all the way around, and then I'm gonna bring you guys down for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody, 15 minutes later, <laughs> I finally um, cleaned up all my edges, all my sides, everything's nice and clean. Okay, so I guess we'll do these one at a time because they're both so big. Um, don't forget, take a stick, popsicle stick, finger, whatever, and you see all those drips? Get rid of those drips. Now, don't forget, I keep mentioning this in my most recent videos, the uh, ratios for my um, Dutch pour you can find in video number 63. I will link it up here at the top. I keep forgetting to mention that. And then I always get a question from a new viewer. Um, you know, what are your ratios? <laughs> and I keep forgetting that. So check out video number 63. It is a full tutorial on how I mix my paints for my Dutch pours. All right. And let's go over here and see what we've got going on. So you see those drips? You gotta get rid of those drips because they will continue to pull the paint from the top of your canvas down and ruin your composition. Touch up that little spot. Oops, you weren't even watching. But you get my point, so I won't do the rest. Let me show you guys these beautiful colors. I'm so happy with this. Super, super happy with this. Look at that. Now, I can't wait to see all five pieces put together um, because I have a feeling it's going to be stunning. And don't forget, this, of course, is going to get top coat of crystal resin. For those of you who want to give resin a try, you can save 5% off your order at crystalresin.com and uh, try out resin. Check it out because I tell you, once you try it, you'll never go back. I have, I used to do Liquitex gloss varnish on all my pieces. No more. It is only resin. So there you have it with the studio lights on. I'm going to turn them off and let's see what they look like. 
All right, and here we are with the studio lights off. And there's that shimmer. So that is the sterling silver, metallic cobalt blue, the iridescent blue green. So pretty. Super happy about that. And I hope my client is watching and she loves it. And you see this? I don't like that. It's just a white, just out of nowhere. You know what I mean? You just want to just lightly dab your finger on the surface. And at least it's not this bright white spot. You know? There it is. Every time I go to the black, it just changes the color of the... You see that? You go from the white. And then when you go to black, it, it changes color. My camera does some funny stuff, but... Look how pretty it is. Let's see if I can get both pieces in at once. So there you have it. Um, I will do my best to get back to the gray pores and show you guys another color combination on a 12 by 12. But uh, for now, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. My husband is tippy toeing his way over to <laughs> the basement, <laughs> trying to be quiet. It's okay, honey. Um, so yeah, don't forget to check out my son, Lucas Siraco. You can check out his channel. And I know I haven't uploaded a lot of Juno and Echo. Just life is too busy. I'll do my best to upload another one of the dogs. But um, And another reno video should be up and coming soon. Um, but yeah, that's it for now, guys. Um, everything you need to know is listed in the description below. Uh, discounts to Crystal Resin, Loli Vefi. Uh, Arteza, um, Amazon links. So if you want to shop on Amazon, click on my links below. Um, PayPal link for anyone who would like to donate to my channel. Oh, let me show you my ornaments real quick. I just pulled my microphone off. Hold, please. I need a wireless mic. Let me show you guys my ornaments. So this is what I was working on. So these ones aren't done. They still need uh, a coat of crystal resin. But look at all the fun colors. So these got, uh, these were done with alcohol ink. Let's see. There we go. It's not focusing. It's focusing on my hand instead. So some really pretty ones here. So these are going to get some uh, crystal resin. And they will be, I love the green, it's so pretty. These will be available for purchase. So those are the unfinished ones. And these are finished ones. Crystal resin. Look how pretty, they're so vibrant. I love that one. So stay tuned, I will be posting them soon. Uh, I have more to make, but that's what I've got so far. Oh, I finished the angel wings. That's done. Um, what else is done that I can show you? Um, this is too high. The purple. I'm going to have to... There's my yellow brick road. That is drying or dried. Still needs a coat of resin, but yeah. Um, this is a baker's rack. It was given to me as a gift by an awesome client. Thank you, Carla. I cannot tell you how handy it has come for me, especially with the plastic cover. It keeps all the dust out. It's insane. So if you can get one of these, get one, trust me. So that is it for me. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.